Well, we're talking here about public sector contracts, contracts to clean hospitals, contracts to clean schools and cater for school children, um, prisons. These are contracts that have been put out into the private sector. The problem with private sector companies taking on public sector contracts is that these private companies are looking for profit first rather than making sure that the services, the contracts are delivered. So what we're saying as a result of this debacle, and I heard the government minister saying it's with great regret, it certainly is with great regret. The tens of thousands of people GMB represent, it's uh, talk about a blue Monday, it really is. But then so the public sector, the taxpayer, would be taking on the risk, wouldn't they? Absolutely, yes. And as, as many, many public sector contracts right up and down the UK are administered in-house by local authorities, properly funded, terms and conditions, properly negotiated. That's exactly what should have happened with these contracts. Instead, they've been put out to tender. Carillion, by the admission of the person you interviewed, has overstretched itself, overbid itself. What that's led to is a race to the bottom on employees, on workers' terms and conditions, and then it's gone bang. And the other thing I need to say is that the government is saying they've been watching this closely. Well, they clearly haven't. They've been asleep at the wheel. There have been three profit warnings back in July and yet they've still awarded more and more contracts. It's a scandal. The government says it's going to stand behind the wages of public service employees. You must be pleased to hear that being stated clearly. Uh, do you have any idea how long that's for? Isn't that the point? Yes, of course I'm delighted. And uh, I've had a number of GMB members who are very anxious contact me this morning saying, Tim, what on earth is going on? Do I turn up for work? And we've been saying, yes, of course you do. Uh, we, we welcome the government's immediate response to say that those jobs, those terms and conditions will be safeguarded for now. But how long will that last? And what happens with the private sector building uh, contractors as well? What we're saying is, first of all, there must be a complete and immediate moratorium on any further contracts, public sector contracts being awarded externally. And secondly, when this has all been settled, then we need to have a proper, independent, open, transparent inquiry into how on earth this happened and that it can never happen again. OK, Tim Roach from the GMB, thank you very much for your time.